Number 5. Shaolin Soccer is a 2001 Hong Kong comedy film directed and starring Stephen Chow. The story revolves around a former Shaolin monk, played by Stephen Chow, and his dream of incorporating martial arts into soccer. After a devastating defeat, the ex-monk teams up with a group of soccer enthusiasts to form a unique soccer team, blending the skills of Shaolin Kung Fu seamlessly into the game. Each member of the Shaolin soccer team possesses special martial arts abilities, such as superhuman kicking power, high-flying kicks, and rapid movements. These unique skills make them an unstoppable force on the soccer field. Their goal is to participate in a major soccer competition and challenge the reigning champions. Oh, and it will take the talents of a young girl. You're beautiful. And a kung fu master? You got it all. Everybody was born. Because they're not just going against the odds. Barricade shield. They're going against the most ruthless team ever assembled. Huh? Oh. Now, the only way to win. Their power's coming back. I can feel it. Is to believe in Shaolin. Get ready to be swept off your feet and taken to the extreme. Stephen Chow, Shaolin Soccer. Number 4. Goal is a 2005 football sports film directed by Danny Cannon. The story follows Santiago Munez, a young Mexican immigrant played by Kuno Becker, who aspires to become a professional footballer. Residing in a low-income community in Los Angeles, Santiago's talent is discovered by a scout for the English football club Newcastle United. Determined to pursue his football dreams, Santiago leaves everything behind and seizes the opportunity to travel to England. In Newcastle, Santiago faces various challenges, including skepticism from teammates and coaches, as well as confronting shadows from his own past. Despite encountering numerous difficulties, Santiago perseveres and strives to overcome obstacles, ultimately earning a chance to achieve success in the football world. Now, for his family, you deserve this chance, Santiago. Take it. He'll pursue a dream 6,000 miles from home. I have a tryout for Newcastle United. You want to lay off the black button? What is it exactly? You don't want to know. This spring, he's jet-lagged, nervous, he's never seen mud before. Maybe you don't have the stamina for the English game. Adios, awesome. there you go. I'll be better tomorrow, I promise. It's not gonna be a tomorrow, Santiago. He's grown up in poverty and hardship, and his only way out is his skill with the ball. Monez, just wanted to see what it felt like to be in this field. You think you deserve it? I know I do. From Touchstone Pictures. It is now quite a day for this young man. One man's extraordinary journey. That's my son. That's my boy, Santiago is about to begin. Kuno Becker. Goal. The dream begins this spring. Number 3. The Keeper is a 2018 German-English biographical film directed by Marcus H. Rosenmuller. The movie tells the true story of Bert Trotman, a German prisoner of war during the later stages of World War II. Trotman, originally a German Luftwaffe soldier, is captured and sent to a prisoner of war camp in England. While there he showcases exceptional football talent, catching the attention of Manchester City, an English football team. After becoming the goalkeeper for Manchester City, Trotman faces prejudice and hostility due to his German background. Despite initial challenges, he gradually wins the respect of fans and teammates, eventually becoming one of the legendary goalkeepers in Manchester City's history. Trotman's journey transcends mere football success, portraying a compelling narrative of overcoming adversity, adapting to a new environment, and earning trust. Instead of going out dancing, we had to spend our evenings in a bomb shelter. I'd 
rather have danced with you than stood on the battlefield. We're boys in football. Football is like a wonderful dance. It's bloody barbaric. Not if you look closely. Do you have a girlfriend? No. No girl at home. What did Thompson want? He wants me to come to Man City for a trial. I think you're pulling my plonker boot. <laughs> Manchester City goalkeeper, Bert Troutman. You were awarded several medals, including the Iron Cross. I need to know the truth. The truth about what? About you! Bert has only learned how to do two things. Be a soldier and be a footballer. I didn't know him as a soldier. I only know him as a man. There's no war in this dressing room. Hold his head. Hold his head. Give all right. He's a goalkeeper. Number two. Billy. Birth of a Legend is a 2016 American biographical film that chronicles the childhood and early career of the legendary Brazilian footballer Billy. Directed by Jeff Zimbalist and Michael Zimbalist, the film portrays Billy's journey from a poverty-stricken background to becoming one of the greatest soccer players in history. The narrative focuses on Billy's formative years, depicting his extraordinary talent that emerged during his youth in the impoverished areas of Brazil. The film captures scenes of Billy learning and playing football in the slums, showcasing his passion and dedication to the sport. A significant part of the story revolves around the 1958 FIFA World Cup in Sweden, where Billy led the Brazilian national team to victory and secured his status as a global football icon. For the Santos football club. He's only 15, he's never even left Bauru. Jinga style might have worked for you back in Santos, but it will never hold up at an international level. I can't play like the other guys. What's wrong with not playing the way the other guys do? Show us what happens when you have the courage to embrace who you truly are. You may be 16 years old, but you're now a spokesman for this great nation. Everyone eager to watch the magical style of play. It must inspire your team to believe in themselves. Now is the time for Pelé. I don't know if we will win, but we will show them a beautiful game. Number 1. United is a 2011 British film directed by James Strong that focuses on the aftermath of the 1958 Munich air disaster, which had a profound impact on the Manchester United football team. The accident occurred in Munich when the team was returning to England, resulting in the loss of several players, team staff and journalists. However, the film primarily explores the story that unfolded in the aftermath of the tragedy. The narrative centers around the efforts to rebuild the Manchester United team, particularly led by the team's manager, Matt Busby. Despite sustaining injuries in the accident, Busby is determined to guide the team through the challenging process of recovery. The film delves into the camaraderie among the team members and illustrates how they collectively strive to rebuild a resilient Manchester United. European Cup, the mighty Reds now face an away tie against Red Star Belgrade. League rules require you to be back in England. you chartering a private plane. This is how movie stars live, lads. The plane's crashed. We don't know who's alive. So far, we know there are 23 survivors. The finest soccer team Britain has produced. Manchester United had made friends all over Europe. The old country loved these lads. We didn't realise it till now. We're going to shut down Manchester United Football Club. I know those lads better than anyone. I found them. They repaid this club with their skill and their passion, and now their lives. It's not about their memory, it's about showing who we are to the world. 
because how we are in the future will be founded on how we behave today. People aren't just sending cards and flowers, they're sending money for the families. The children sending their pocket money. Get stuck in, Chief. Oh, we will. The lads are in every corner of the club for me. They are the club to me. I need you. Don't be another one who died out there.